Now I'll give you a quick overview of the equipment that's required to install a Zappi EV charger. Firstly we have the Zappi itself. This version is a white untethered Zappi where we've also provided a 10 meter lead so that the customer has plenty of length on the lead to charge the car. Next we have the MyEnergy Hub. This device connects the Zappi to the internet meaning it can be linked to the MyEnergy app allowing remote monitoring by the customer. Next we have the Harvey. In order for the Zappi to work, the Zappi needs to know how much the solar is producing, how much the house is consuming, but also if there's a battery in the system, what the battery is doing. This device allows us to remotely monitor what the battery is doing and it works over radio frequency from the Harvey over to the Zappi. On the Zappi screen, we can see that the solar is producing 700 watts and the house is consuming all of that 700 watts, meaning that no power is being bought in or exported to the grid. Currently, the EV is disconnected, but when the EV is connected, we've got three modes that we can charge it up with. The first one is fast mode. Fast mode is the simplest mode that the Zappi offers. It delivers seven kilowatts of power to the vehicle, no matter if there's surplus solar power or not, meaning that the car charges up at the quickest rate possible. Eco mode has been designed to use as much of the surplus solar power as possible. However, if there isn't any, it will trickle charge the car until more surplus solar is available. On Eco Plus mode, you can choose to only charge your car up from surplus solar PV power, meaning that no power needs to be bought in from the grid. The Zap has loads of cool features. You can program times in to enable Economy 7 charging to reduce the cost of charging your vehicle overnight. You can also add more than one charger without the risk of blowing your main fuse as it monitors how much power the house is consuming, meaning that if it was ever to get close to the main fuse size, it would ramp the charge rate down. The Zappi is available in white, black, untethered version like this one, or a tethered version that has a lead built into the bottom with the holster back here to allow for easy storage. To have a Zappi installed, you don't need to have solar, wind, battery or anything like that. It can just go to a normal property with a grid connection. It's then there for if you ever decide in the future to have any type of micro generation like solar or wind. 